Hi, my name is Sasha. After graduating college in California, I have been an epic teacher in South Korea for the past two years. Can you dive? Can you dive? Yes, I can! Yes, I can! I live in Sejong, which is a fairly new city where government officials are relocated from Seoul. I teach at two schools. My main school is a huge school located in the city. At Dotem Elementary, I teach 4th and 6th grade. I have three different co-teachers and we communicate with each other to make lessons fun and enjoyable for students. I Fold your paper in half. My second school is Sojong Elementary, a small school located in the rural side. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I teach mainly grades 3 through 6. Since it's such a small school, there's only one class per grade. How much is it? And since my co-teachers are the homeroom teachers, I usually plan lessons by myself since they are very busy. This is what a typical school lunch looks like. You have your rice, soup, main dish, side dishes, and a dessert. There will be school events such as sports day, fire drills, or maybe an actual fire truck will come to your school, school festivals, holiday celebrations such as Halloween, and exploring the surrounding areas with fellow co-workers, especially during spring and autumn. Why not take advantage of school vacation time and national holidays by visiting other countries? Or you can explore Korea. Public transportation is huge here. Fly to Jeju and experience the island life. Take a bus to Gangwondo and explore the east side of Korea. Take a train to Busan. Don't worry, no zombies here. Eat Sanakji live octopus. It's worth a try. Explore Seoul via the subway. Immerse yourself in the Korean culture. We can't not talk about food. Korea is known for their spicy and flavorful food. Here are some of my favorite Korean dishes. Get to know the language and study Korean. Korea has a long history and museums are a great way to start. In Seoul, you can walk along Gwanghwamun Square, and later you'll find yourself in the palace. Experience wearing a hanbok, which is Korean traditional clothes. Gukchong Hanok Village is another famous place, and you'll be able to see Namsan Tower. Who knows, maybe you'll even see your city. Almost every month, there is some sort of festival going on. Water bomb festival in Seoul. We're here! Luckily for me, I got the chance to see the Olympics. Why not go to a music concert? I love K-pop. And one of my hobbies is dance. I got the chance to dance at orientation. And after that, I've been taking some dance classes in Seoul which led me to dance in both of my school festivals last year. It was such an amazing and fun experience to be able to dance with my students. By moving here to Korea, I'm teaching kids English and about my culture. And in return, I'm learning from them as well. And I feel that I am a more well-rounded and open-minded individual thanks to EPIC. Are you willing to take on this adventure?